Installation of concrete pipes and manholes. Receiving and storing concrete products at site. When the delivery arrives to the site, check for the delivery note that the delivered products are in accordance with the order. Inform the supplier immediately if you find any errors in the delivery or any damage in the products. You can utilize the unloading crane installed in the truck. This lifting equipment can unload concrete pipes or manholes weighing up to two tons. Make sure that the lifting devices you are using are suitable to handle the weight of the products delivered. To speed up installation, choose the storage location not too far from where they will be installed. Prepare the stock area in advance. The ground must be leveled and stable. Use wooden planks under products to prevent any damage. Stack the pipes so that the socket end of the pipes in one layer face the same way, and on the next layer, the sockets face the opposite way. This prevents the weight of the pipes from resting on the pipe sockets. Storage at the site. Pipes with diameter 300 to 400 millimeters, maximum four layers and 500 to 600 millimeter diameter concrete pipes may be stacked to maximum three layers. Pipes with the diameter of more than 600 millimeters only in one layer. When storing large diameter pipes, place a side support to prevent pipes from rolling. When storing the pipes, make sure that the lifting holes are aligned horizontally in a way that the lifting device can be fitted between two pipes. Preparation of concrete pipes and manhole products before installation. Remove the white polystyrene bands from the rubber seals. In cold temperatures, soften the stiffened seal with a rubber hammer by gently hammering the seal before installation. Clean the seal and joint from gravel and dirt. To ease the installation, use a lubricant recommended by the supplier. Apply the lubricant to the sealing ring of the pipe. In certain cases, it would be beneficial to lubricate around the outer surface of the spiga, for example when installing Qmax pipes. Installation of concrete pipes with a lifter device. Concrete pipe installation lifter device can be fixed to the excavator with a quick connector. The lubricant is applied all around the spy gut, but it is not necessary to apply it to the pipe tip. Using the lifter device speeds up the installation, making it safer and more ergonomic. Using the designated tools lowers the cost of the installation. The base of the trench has to be even and prepared according to project specifications. When installing the concrete pipes, Make a bell hole under the socket of the pipe to provide support along the barrel of the pipe. This prevents damaging the socket. Installation of small concrete pipes with diameters 225 to 600 millimeters. Grab and pulling tools. For safety reasons, use only manufacturer and product specific installation equipment and check the proper functionality of the equipment before starting the installation works. If the lifting tool is damaged or not functioning properly, inform the supplier of the device. To avoid any accidents, don't use broken or defective installation tools. Operating instructions are available on the website of the device producer or supplier. The base of the trench should be even and prepared according to project specifications. When installing the concrete pipes, make a bell hole under the socket of the pipe to provide support along the barrel of the pipe. This prevents damaging the socket. You can use both grab and pulling tools to ensure smooth joining of the concrete pipes.
Measure the installation gap inside between pipes after installation and ensure that it is 10 to 15 millimeters. This allows the connection to endure possible soil movements. Installation of large concrete pipes with diameters of 800 to 2,000 millimeters. Kona device. Use the Kona device to maneuver and lift large concrete pipes. Ensure the lifting tool functionality before starting the installation works. Clean the lifting slots and insert the plug into the lifting slot. Secure the locking with the pin. In case the lifting plug is not properly in place, it will cause serious safety risk because the concrete around the lifting slot can break and the pipe can drop. While inserting and closing the lifting plug, you should not hammer the latch. The locking mechanism is designed the way that you can operate it manually. The lifting devices are produced by several manufacturers with different functionalities and different assembling dimensions. Ask your supplier for instructions on the use of the device. Fix the pipe into the lifting device by stabilizer and secure the pipe with lifting straps. Especially when assembling large pipes, you should apply the lubricant around the outer surface of the spiga and inner surface of the socket to ensure easier assemblies. You can control the straightness of the pipes by adjusting the chain length. Match the chain length on both sides of the pipe. For example, by counting the number of chain loops and mark the right loop with the marker pen. When the pipe has been installed, Control that the pipe is in line with the previous installed pipes. It is very challenging to make corrections to the pipeline position after the line has been laid. Installation of the QMAX pipe lifter tool. Clean the lifting slots and insert the plug into the lifting slot. Secure the locking with the lever in the lifter plug. On QMAX pipes, you should apply the lubricant around the outer surface of the spy gun and inner surface of the socket to ensure easier assembly. You can join the pipes by connecting the lifter chain end to the lifting slot further back on the installed pipe. Installation of the manholes, lifting clamps and hooks. Use fitting pipes at outlet connections of manholes to allow movements in the pipeline. The base of the trench must be properly compacted and even. Clean the joint surfaces from gravel and dirt before applying the lubricant. Remove the white polystyrene band from the rubber seal before installation. The installation team must ensure that the lifting equipment fulfill the manufacturer's requirements. The manufacturer will share the instruction and compatibility information on request. Danger! Lifting hooks must be fixed symmetrically to the top of the manhole. The manhole taper can be adjusted by turning to match the right location of the curbstones. Ensure that the seal and joint surfaces are clean and lubricated. When installing the telescope manhole, it is beneficial for the assembly to check that the shape of the plastic manhole fitting is round. You can ease the final adjustment if you install geotextile around the manhole to prevent the friction between manhole fitting and gravel. Clean the lifting holes from dirt and at lower temperatures also from snow and ice. While installing manholes with a diameter of 1,200 mm or larger, a lifting beam is used. The fastening of the lifting device must be secured with the locking system. There are various locking systems. 
Consult your supplier for instructions on the use of the device. Installation of the manhole base unit. Lifting clutches and chain. Clean the lifting slots on the manhole base unit. Check that the clutches are fitted properly into the lifting slots and the locking unit is fully turned. The foundation of the base unit has to be even and well compacted. Installation of the manhole, adjusting ring. Sealing cord ensures a proper connection between the adjusting ring and the manhole top. By using angled adjustment rings, you can match the slope level according to the finished road surface. Backfilling of the trench. Set the backfill material gently on top of the concrete pipeline to avoid any damage. Prepare the initial support by tamping down the backfill material under the pipe. Before using the compacting equipment, at least 300 mm layer of backfill material has to be on top of the pipe. By using excavated soil on top of the initial backfill, the environmental impact can be reduced. By building sewage lines with concrete, you create a long-lasting and durable solution.